Hi, Shep Hyken, your customer service and experience expert. And today, I'm gonna to discuss how value can influence the experience. Now, this video is about the entire customer experience. If a statement about providing value in the customer experience is baked into a company's mission and value statement, it potentially becomes part of the culture. So imagine if your organization were bold enough to state that the value they deliver to their customers would make price irrelevant. Now, how do you define value? Well, it's simple. It's the value provided in the customer experience. But remember that your definition of this value is only good if it aligns with what customers want and hope for. So let's talk about making price irrelevant. My good friend and fellow customer experience expert, John DeJulius, has often said, make price irrelevant. Now, he and I jab each other over the statement, and I've said, make price less relevant. There's no way you can make price completely irrelevant. Now, John knows this, and he admits it, but at the same time, he argues the point that if you provide enough value with the experience, you can distance your company from its competition, which can charge more than others. Now, I can live with that because he's right. We're just using different words to get to the same outcome. So let's not get caught up in the semantics of these two ideas. We're both in alignment, and you should be as well. Furthermore, this way of thinking crosses over to the employee experience. Can you create an employment opportunity so fulfilling that people would line up to apply for a job, even though they might make a little bit more money elsewhere. Now, there are companies like Disney that have achieved that. That Disney culture is so powerful that people love the company more than a higher paycheck from another employer. Of course, every company, including Disney, has to be somewhat competitive with compensation and benefits. But in the end, for many, happiness and fulfillment are more important than a few extra dollars in their paycheck. So let's close by considering three ideas. Number one, the alignment. Value in the customer experience and employee experience is a non-negotiable. You can't have one without the other. Number two, the opportunity. Create experiences that are so enriching that neither customers nor employees can easily walk away regardless of dollars. And number three, the challenge. I challenge you to define your version of value and make it so compelling you're willing to include it in your mission and value statements. Well, I hope you enjoyed this short lesson. Thank you very much for tuning in. This is Shep Hyken reminding you to always be amazing.